Welcome to this week's Ag Update. My name is Devin Helming. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some planting considerations. The first thing I would like to talk to you about is planting depth. We like to see a targeted planting depth of two inches. Sometimes when we have shallower planted corn, we run into issues such as uh, uh, poorer root development. And when we get that poor root development later in the season, that might hurt us with drought stress or some other things that we might experience during the summer. Additionally, with shallow planted corn, we have uh, a higher probability of being exposed to herbicides, which can cause some uh, issues as well. And uh, last year specifically, I recall some of the plants that were more impacted by the frost damage that we had. Um, they just weren't quite deep enough, and when those seedlings got hit with the frost, it uh, killed the plant. So in general, we want to make sure that we're staying at least an inch and a half deep, but really we want to be a lot closer to two inches in depth. It's a good idea to check your planting depth when you're in the field conditions moving at full speed. Just get out behind the planter, dig a little bit, and, uh, and measure. Some people use their knuckle, some people use a tape measure. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we just want to feel comfortable with that uh, two inch depth. Another way that I like to uh, measure depth is actually in season but when the plants are young plants of a couple leaves or so, you can dig up the plant and measure the distance of the mesocotyl. If you look at the uh, graphic that we're showing here, the mesocotyl is the distance between the seed and the nodal roots. Add three quarters of an inch to that and you have your planting depth. Secondly, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, planting population and spacing. In general, the hybrids that I work with range from 32,000 to 36,000 for an optimum seeding rate. Um, when you figure out what this is in 30 inch spacing, that generally works out to be about uh, a plant every six inches or about two per foot. Now regarding optimum spacing, it'd be nice if that was uh, just that picket fence, equal distance spacing between uh, all the plants. But in reality, we vary a little bit from that. And what Pioneer research has shown is if we're within two to three inches of that equal distance spacing, we can still maximize our yield. Another way that I like to measure plant spacing is actually in season. When the plants start to emerge and get a leaf or two on them, it's nice to measure off a thousandth of an acre. If you are in 30 inch spaced rows, that works out to be 17 feet, five inches. You can measure that with a tape measure or step it off but then you have a nice little area that you can count and uh, get a good idea of what happened with uh, plant population and spacing. The third thing I wanna talk about is uh, when to actually start planting. That's a common question that guys ask me and the reality of the situation is the more opportunities that I've had to make predictions, the more opportunities I've had for humility to come into my life. But with that said, there are still um, some general trends and uh, thoughts that we can focus on. First of all, we want the field conditions to be good, so not too wet or tacky. Uh, that's one of the most important things. It's nice to see a little bit of dust being worked up. And the other thing is we want the uh, soil temperatures to be in an appropriate range. Generally, we like to see that as 50 degrees and trending upward. Regarding soil temperatures, you can see from this graphic that the temperatures are getting close to 50 degrees. The readings that you see on here are taken at the 4 inch depth and they are the morning readings. There are different areas, different depths that you can uh, measure and times of the day that they take these, but this is a good one for getting an overall idea of how the uh, trends are coming. And again, we're getting close to 50 degrees, and I can tell from what I saw last week and just the uh, previous days this week, we certainly are trending in the right direction. So, so the soil temps are becoming uh, favorable here uh, very soon. Another aspect that I like to look at is uh, what is the short-term forecast? The main thing I want to avoid is a uh, drop-off in temperatures with um, some extra moisture coming. The most critical time for that seed is the first 24 hours in the ground. It really imbibes a significant amount of its water in that uh, 24 hour period. And if we have something that changes um, and a lot of cold temperatures come into it, it can hurt the germination. So the short term forecast, we wanna see that looking uh, favorable as well. So in summary, I'd just like to uh, bring up these three points again. Uh, first of all, we wanna have our depth at uh, at least uh, two inches deep. 
Um, with our population and our spacing, we want to uh, get the right information for each hybrid and uh, know what we're supposed to plant, probably in that 32 to 36,000 uh, population range. And uh, finally, we want to make sure that the soil conditions are fit and the favorable forecast is in store. Thanks for listening to uh, this week's Ag Update. Uh, have a safe spring.